Hello there and welcome to Graphic Communication at Barton Pebble College. My name is Sarah Talling and I am subject leader for Graphics. Hi, and I am Kenzie um, and I am a teacher of Graphics. So we hope to show you through this presentation just a rough kind of overview of what it's like to study uh, Graphic Communication here at Barton Pebble. Uh, we are uh, running the graphics course under the Art and Design Specification run by AQA. So that enables us to teach across a number of the creative platforms and study a range of kind of art-based subjects within our graphics course. Um, you don't have to have studied art or graphics or anything like that before at TCSC level, but it is advantageous. Um, if you haven't done it before, we will teach you the basics and we can go from there. Our course is uh, examined in the second year and it constitutes 60% uh, of a coursework uh, unit and 40% of a practical exam. Absolutely. So we do a bit of a range of um, like topics um, throughout the course. Um, so we do a bit of digital and traditional illustration. We do mixed media, whether that's photo layering on Photoshop or some like physical collaging. And um, typography, logos, and branding are really important to understand your project and your theme. And um, a bit of composition and layout to understand how to present your sketchbook and your work. Um, we do a bit of printmaking. We do have a printing press and we have printing letter blocks as well uh, for you to do some letter press printing. We do paper and stencil cutting, whether you do it by hand or you can use our Cricut machine. Um, and we do teach you a range of software, um, including Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign as well. So the first year of our course is really the skills building kind of stage. We have two projects in the first year. The first project is a workshop based project and here you will learn everything that you need to support you across the rest of the graphics course. So this is where you'll have your Photoshop inductions, you'll learn how to use the Wacom tablet drawings, we'll have in workshops in creative photography, digital design, typography and we'll also have a theory part of the course where you learn about the kind of the theory behind graphics, colour, composition and all of those things. Um, and the final project ends up in a poster for the design show. Our second project um, is a uh, mock exam project and um, so it mirrors the exam that you would have in the second year. You work from a number of different design briefs and it's a lot more kind of personal. You have a bit more creative choice over the style of graphics that you want to create, whether that's more art based or whether it's more digital. Um, the themes that you get to choose from, you can select the ones that feel more kind of personal and creative to you and we get you to work much more to your design strengths in that project. Um, it will culminate in an outcome of your own choice today, where that might be a leaflet, it might be a poster, it might be book packaging, all those things that you can see on there. The best thing about this project is that it kind of teaches you how to work that design brief and it gets you prepared for the practical exam in the second year. Absolutely. So with year two, it's 100% of um, your, well, it's worth 100% of your A-level. Um, and this personal investigation is worth 60%. And it's where you get to work to a theme of your choice. Um, so whether you want to go to university to do graphics or university to do something else, like psychology or a science-based kind of subject, um, you can tailor your theme to suit your future kind of like plans and stuff like that as well. Um, so with the personal investigation, um, we do do an in-depth research into the theme, your artists and your own graphical styles. And the Sarah said obviously where you tailor your um, kind of you know styles and your skills in the first year you get to really kind of hone in on those skills and choose the skills you want to develop in the personal investigation whether that be traditional stuff like painting um, or more kind of like sort of digital stuff which is like uh, digital collaging or tablet drawing and um, we also do a personal study which is a 3,000 word essay um, and it is really important obviously to do written work we do do it in chunks so that you don't get it all at once um, and it does go towards your final grade as well with the externally set assignment, it is 40% um, of the coursework. So you do work at a tighter time scale, but you get to really, really kind of understand how to work towards a design brief um, and really kind of work towards an exam where you've already done the um, mock kind of project before as well in your first year. So you get to develop your sketchbook with the prep work and the help with your teachers all the way up until your final outcome stages. Um, and then you create your final outcome in a 15 hour practical exam. But by this point, you've already done three projects already. So you'll be more than well prepared to obviously do your exam and your final outcome during it. So there are lots of brilliant reasons as to why studying graphics at A-level um, is a good thing to do. But one of the things that we really pride ourselves on is the facilities that we have got here. So we have lovely, bright, airy uh, graphic design studios, which you can come in and work both in lesson time and in study uh, periods as well. Um, all the staff that teach uh, in the art department, myself and Kenzie included, are practicing artists and designers in our own right. So we can kind of help you with your creative journey. 
Um, across all of college, our computers have the full Adobe Design Suite on them, so you are able to access that um, no matter where you are to continue on with your creative studies outside of lessons. We have lots of uh, great facilities like our Wacom tablet drawings, ability to use our cameras, our photo studios, and all of those things to help you with your studies here. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on as well is the support for you in terms of progressing on from the A-level course. So if you're wanting to study an art and design based subject, either an art foundation or an art degree, we will support you with your application of that, your portfolio building, um, and enable you to kind of get the, the best portfolio behind you that you possibly can. And as Kenzie said before, if um, it's not uh, graphics or art based things that you're interested in at university and you want to do on something else, uh, then our second year project at uh, you can tailor to support support whatever career choice uh, you want to take. Absolutely. So if you do want some more further information, um, on the right hand side at the top, you can view our course information, which is on the Barton Purple General website. And um, or at the bottom left hand side, you can visit our graphics open day site as well. You can find more information about the course. You can also find more information about the um, subject itself. Um, and you can also have a little bit of a look at some example work as well. Um, if you want to follow us on Instagram, please do. We do update it regularly with student work and also, you know, what's going on within our course and subjects. Um, and if you're really stuck and you just want to know a little bit more, then be more than you're more than welcome to obviously email our subject leader, Sarah, as well. And her email details are down there. Um, but we're really looking forward to, obviously, you know, hopefully seeing you on the course um, in the new term in September. Um, and if not, we were really looking forward to meeting you in the Google Meet call as well. So take care. See you later. Bye.